Today, we're going to be making a chili. And I like to use ground beef in the chili. I like to use poblano pepper, jalapeno pepper, onion, chipotle cumin, onion, chili powder, some cayenne pepper, Tabasco, sea salt, tomatoes, tomato paste, and kidney beans. And that should give us everything we need to make a very delicious chili. And when it's done, we can add it our favorite toppings to make it even more delicious. First thing we do is rough cut some onion like we have here. And next we're gonna wash our peppers and then we're gonna go ahead and get those cut up as well. All right, let's go ahead and get these peppers washed up. Next, we're going to chop up these poblano peppers, and last, we'll do the jalapenos. I like to do the jalapenos a little bit smaller. So we've got our jalapenos and our poblanos cut up along with our onions. The next step is let's get them into the frying pan and cooking up with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to get our flame going to about just below medium. And let's go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And once we know that that pan has heated, we can drop in our onions and our peppers. We know our oil is hot enough because we've got this little onion put in there just as a test to see how it's doing and see how it's bubbling. So we can go ahead and drop the rest of them right in. You can hear them sizzle up nicely. Let's go ahead and get the peppers in. Actually. All right, we'll get the peppers in there. And we're just gonna let those cook down for a little bit and then we're gonna transfer them over to this other pan over here where we're going to actually make our chili. As you can see, our onions and peppers are starting to glisten a bit in the pan. It's coming along just the way we want it to. Few more minutes and we'll be able to transfer that into the other pot. We want to get these out of the pan before the onions begin to brown, just before. We're going to go ahead and get these transferred into this big pan now. Now that we've got those in the pan, we're just going to set them aside for a moment. And we're going to come over here and we're going to brown our meat. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to get our meat going, get our meat browned. And I looked on the package, this call, this was a two and a half pound package of ground beef. We're gonna do two pounds for this recipe. So we're not gonna do the whole thing of hamburger. We're gonna go ahead and get that in our pan. You know what, now that I see it in the pan, I'm gonna do it. Two and a half pounds of ground beef. Why not? You wanna cook that ground beef until there's no more pink left. As you can see, we still have a lot of pink here, but as we um, move it around and kind of break it up, we can kind of cook it a little more evenly. And then when it's done, we're gonna go ahead and add it right into this pan here. And we're gonna have our base of our chili already going. As you can see, there's no pink left in our meat. So we feel comfortable about moving it over here into that pan now. And actually I'm gonna switch places with that pan. Just a minute. Noticed I had a little bit uncooked on my spoon, so there we go. So now we've added that meat into the other pot with the peppers and the onions. It's time to go ahead and next add in our tomato paste. All right. 
right, so now that we've got that tomato paste in there and it's all mixed in nice, you can kind of see it's made a nice little color and coated the meat. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some salt. So I like to add about, I'm going to say two teaspoons, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of sea salt. I know it seems like a lot, but it really brings the flavor out in the meat. The next ingredient that we're going to add is going to be our chili powder. And I like to do at least a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. The next important ingredient is this cumin. I'm going to go ahead and put in about a teaspoon and a half of cumin. Next, we're going to add in this onion powder. And we're going to put about a teaspoon of that in. And remember, I like to put in a little bit of chipotle. So let's go ahead and put some chipotle in there, about a teaspoon of that as well. Now I did mention cayenne, so let's put just a little bit of cayenne pepper. We can always add a little bit more, so just a few sprinkles of cayenne pepper, and now we're ready to go ahead and add in our tomatoes. All right, let's get those tomatoes in there. And what we will do is we'll start to break them up with our spoon and just kind of let that all come together. It's at this point, now that we've got the tomatoes added in there, I want to show you. We've just now broken them all up and they will break down more as we cook. But it's at this point that we want to give this just a tiny taste just to see where we're at. So let's go ahead and see. It's very good. It is not too spicy. So one of the things you didn't see me put in yet was the Tabasco. I left that out on purpose just because we want to make sure we have the right amount of heat in here. So I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of Let's that. Go ahead and sprinkle some Tabasco in here. Add a little extra heat. And I'm also very confident knowing I could put a little more cayenne in as well. So a few more sprinkles of cayenne. We'll let this cook up, let those flavors come together, and we'll see how this is, and then we can add our beans. As you can see, we're boiling away, simmering away. We want to make sure it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. And we're going to be able to go ahead and add in our dark red kidney beans. All right. What I did, just so that you know, drained some of the water out of the beans, but not all of it, because that water is okay to use. That stuff that's in the can there is actually something that vegetarians use a lot in a lot of the beans. It actually um, adds to your dish. So look how beautiful that looks with those dark red kidney beans in it. Our chili is coming along just wonderfully. And here we have our finished chili. You can see those vibrant chunks of pepper in there. They're going to be fantastic, but not overly hot. This is a good medium chili for those of you who don't like it too hot.